Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Tina Borio of Ajada. Ajada? Akaide Oil. Okay. Akaide Limited, yes. <laughs> okay. Start by introducing the company and tell me about the services and products you're providing. Yeah, Akaide is a small Finnish technology company. We were founded in 2010, and uh, we are uh, developing ultra low power wireless uh, communication systems. Mm -hmm. Uh, which are containing different elements and uh, basically we are combining uh, ultra low power uh, RFID technology called Dash 7 mm -hmm. and uh, also ultra low power display technologies like e-papers and combining okay. those two we, we are able to have location uh, aware mm -hmm. assets or uh, objects within the buildings and they know their place we can measure their uh, different uh, different uh, things like the humidity or uh, temperature, okay. different assets, and they are communicating through our uh, access points to the cloud system. So we have actually the whole thing in place. We have software yeah. cloud, and then we have system uh, communication system in place, uh, which contains access points that are communicating to the cloud okay. through 2G. Yeah. And then we have uh, little beacons that are enabling the location information of these tags. Yeah. And that's something unique, I think, because these beacons are totally battery operated. Okay. They, uh, they don't consume any electricity and it's super easy to install them because you don't need any, any cable mm. at all. Okay, so it's a really nice, si simple system. One of the things you mentioned was that uh, you're able to measure things like humidity, um, things yeah. like temperature. Is that done by an external device that's then connected to the RFID? No, they are actually sensors that okay. you can attach into these tags. Okay. And you can attach uh, these sensors, but also you can attach, for example, small e-paper devices, mm -hmm. e-paper displays. And uh, by adding these displays, you can, for example, place these asset tags to uh, different equipments and they are telling uh, some instructions to the end users for example right. or alerts mm -hmm. maybe they maybe the equipment has been in a too cold place yeah. and needs to go to the some, yeah. some other thing it's work workflow related it's okay workflow. and that's becoming more and more important it's, it's no in asset tracking it's no longer just good enough to say this came from here to here we need more traceability and we need to know what kind of environment things have been in, perhaps if they've been tampered with, those kind of things. Is that part of a, a change in the requirement of your eventual customers that you're seeing? Well, uh, our, our uh, development principles actually came from the customer requirements related to how easy or difficult is it to set up the infrastructure. Right. That is, uh, that is enabling real-time uh, location information. Mm. We know that there are several different technologies in place. You can have active RFID uh, uh, enabled RTLS solutions in yeah. place. There might be a Wi-Fi based or infralight. Mm -hmm. And uh, they all have their pros and cons, but one common thing is that uh, they are normally quite expensive for yeah. the customers. And they are quite long projects with uh, uh, a lot of deployment costs. And yeah. So we wanted to make that super easy. Yeah. So the simplicity of deployment, simplicity of the system is, is really important to your customers. And you're just two and a half, three years old as a, uh, as a company. Where are you in the um, development, deployment, market cycle at the moment? Yeah, we are, uh, as I said, uh, we are a quite young company and uh, we are, we are in a phase right now that we have uh, finally finally uh, have a working platform, let's say platform, which includes all the elements of this mm -hmm. solution and uh, currently in the first customer deployment and uh, looking for the uh, new uh, pilots right now okay. with our technology. So okay. in, a, in a very uh, early phase yeah. of business. And the, the, the beta site or the, the deployment that you've done so far, is that, uh, is that in Scandinavia? Is that 
close to yeah, you? Yeah, that's in Scandinavia. Yeah. Okay, and is it a company we uh, we can talk about, or is it commercially I, sensitive? I could say that it's for the security do okay. domain, and uh, unfortunately we have a very strict uh, yeah, NDA, uh, NDA in place, that's so I won't, I'm not able to... Yeah. Tell, okay, tell but that's that's a project that, that that's working well, and it's it yeah, looks it, like it has been very successful, yeah. and we are looking for that to More go for the other Nordic and European countries yeah. in the near future. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Well, Tina, thanks for stopping by. Good luck with the project. It sounds really exciting, and I hope we can speak again soon. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.